Welcome back to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Today, I'm going to test the theory of bleeding fish is better. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures, where we'll be in the woods or on the water with our family and friends. Let's find an adventure. Today, I want to put to the theory, or I want to test the theory, that bleeding fish is better. So I have two bass in the live well. Fourteen and a half inches. As you can see, I'm gonna bleed one, not the other. We're gonna clean them, and then see if it's easier to clean, less blood. And I'm also gonna do a taste test. We're gonna put them up for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and bleed this one. fish we'll clean them and we'll see if bleeding the fish makes it cleaner easier to clean and then we'll do a taste test stay tuned all right guys so as you saw I caught two bass this morning they're both about 14 and a half inches so they're identical fish I knocked one in the head killed it bled the other one you saw me bleeding it earlier I want to test now I don't bleed fish I've never bled a fish guys say they taste better if you bleed them I don't know I don't do it but they do say that it's cleaner when you clean the fish if you bleed them or not so to bleed them you just cut their throat as you can see this one's cut here so I'm gonna to get to cleaning them I'm gonna start with the fish that I bled and we'll see if this is true or not This knife once over to try to keep a flay knife sharp. So far, there's like no blood in this fish here. It looks like an on camera right here, <clears throat> but it's not. So there's like no blood spilling out. There's some blood here, but that's from the the gills that I cut, but it's not like seeping out or nothing. Now, like I said, I've never bled a fish before. I've had fish that are bleeders, that bleed quite a bit. I've had fish not bleed. I mean, a little bit, but not like real bad. But there is like no blood coming out of this fish whatsoever. So what I'll do is I'll 
throw this guy away. Clean the board a little bit and then we'll start with the other one. All right, so now I'm gonna start with the fish that we did not bleed. See if there's any difference. fish is a bleeder but it's definitely more than that bleed so I mean this is like not terrible to deal with it's not the best blade jobs in the world, but there's definitely a lot more blood yeah. than the other fish, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a diff big difference, though. You gotta sharpen these knives or this knife. Your board's a lot messier too. There's not a lot of blood in that, but there's a lot of blood. And then the board itself gets like she said messier. The real deal. So far, bleeding the fish wins. We're going to see if it actually tastes better, but cleaning it is a lot cleaner. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're going to do the taste test tonight when we eat supper. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. Later. There's one bowl of fish. That's a blood fish. And the unblood fish is right here. Out. Not spill it everywhere. Unblood fish. Not gonna be able to get this one handed. So. Hold on. Alright, so unblood fish, blood fish. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, Mike, you had two fish. Yeah, well, I caught one last night. I bled it last night. I was going to then catch one today and then do the comparison. But since I caught two today, I just did it side by side. But you can already see, like, this water is a lot dirtier than that. All this is is bottled water. I usually use tap water, but... This is well water. If you want canola oil or country. Crisco. Crisco fish. We have it. So all it is is bottled water and then salt. Well this is expired probably from when we handed up your last December 19, 2020. Okay, so we're having canola oil. Which I usually don't cook fish in either, but everything's gonna be the same. The only difference is blood versus non-blood. So we're gonna, I gotta get the bones out of this because I didn't do that all the way and then we'll go from there. All right, so if you guys have watched my Detroit River Catch, Clean, Cook, you already know how I do this. I just chunk it up, put it in a bag of yellow cornmeal. I don't egg wash or do anything like that. I just rinse them off, pat them dry, put the breading on it. 
So this is the not bled fish. Gonna go in one bag and then that's on a separate pan. See over there. And then I have the blood fish. I still gotta go through and get the bones out. And repeat the process. So as you can see, two different pans, one with the non-blooded fish, one with the blooded fish. Yeah, two different plates is gonna go on. Like I said, same. Everything's the same. Salt water, canola, canola oil, because we don't have special or vegetable oil. Oh, I did start using peanut oil at home. For, for some reason we had that, but. We had that for Chinese food, and I wanted what's in oil. So we're going to cook it up until it's pork tender, and then we'll do a taste test. Good. We won't be you won't be the official which one's better, but that's that bass you caught last night. How's that taste, bud? How is it? It's hot, but does it taste good? Huh? I think so. You think so? It's just that I'm on the ball one. He wants to stick with walleye. He's just a real picky eater. But it's good. And you know it's good. You just don't want to eat it. Because he'd rather eat hot dogs and the shit that kids eat. But Okay, well, you gotta eat those two pieces. That's the fish you caught. You have to honor it by eating it, bud. Alright, so on our plates is the not bled fish. There's the blooded fish. There's two of them. I was only one of these guys. Got some Meyer coleslaw. Not real happy about that, but it was easier than bringing the stuff up here, I guess. And then tartar sauce. Kraft is number one. My beautiful wife is going to be the first one. So this is the non-blood fish. No tartar sauce. Nothing like that to start. Tastes like fish. So now how are you going to clean your palate? Some Pepsi. Now with the blood fish. The bloodfish actually has a less fishy taste to it. Let's see. So the non-blood fish. So I had a tail piece or like the end piece. So I grabbed a thicker meteor piece. To me it tastes tastes good. Tastes like fish. So now I have the blooded fish. Blooded is a word. That's crazy. Isn't it? What's the difference? The only difference is that fish had its throat cut and this one didn't. I know, but what's the taste difference? It's like, it's more mild. Like it's... And I thought everybody was just full of shit. 
because I like them this way too. But the bled fish, or whatever you want to call it, actually tastes a lot better. It's not. What would you say? Fishy. It's Which not, isn't a great word because fish tastes like fish, but. So anyways, so bleeding the fish, pros, you don't get blood all over the place when you're filleting them, which is nice because it's less clean up and the fish tastes better. The non-bled fish, to me it still tastes good. It just isn't as good as the ones that were bled. Now this is largemouth. A lot of guys, a lot of people Oh, you eat largemouth, they taste like mud, blah, 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 blah. But I like them. I grew up eating them. I I think they taste great. So if it makes largemouth taste that much better, imagine walleye. So, in conclusion. Guess I'm going to be bleeding my fish from now on. Because uh, it's crazy. So there you have it. Bleed your fish. If you like today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more stuff coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.